Kill Team Nak Moon is upon us. So who will your legionnaires be aligned to? Korn, Slanesh, Nurgle, Zinch, or none of them? Let's quickly paint up all the Chaos Space Marines for Kill Team Nakmen in this video. Then the entirety of the cosmos is accessible to each and every individual mind connected to the great mind, the great spirit. Welcome to the channel collectors. So in this series of videos, I'm going to be guiding you guys how we can quickly paint up all the contents of the Q-Team Nutman set, including all the miniatures as well as the terrain. So before we start talking about how to paint up all the Chaos Space Marines in their different colors, why don't we pay the class fee of one like and one sub before we begin. So Q-Team Nutman has made it really interesting with the rules where individual operatives may be aligned to one of the four Chaos Gods, namely Khorne, Slanesh, Nurgle and Zinj. In this video, I'm going to be covering three of the Chaos Gods, which is Khorne, Slanesh and Zinj. For Nurgle, there's going to be a video on its own of how I painted my very own Death Guard Q-Team. This video is designed to be a tabletop tutorial so that you can quickly get all these miniatures painted up and play Q-Team Nutman fully painted. So there are going to be a lot of colours that we are going to be using. So I'm not going to point here and get all the colours listed out. Rather individually in the chapters below, I'll be covering how to paint the Black Legion, the Con Berserker as well as the Slanesh Marine which could also be a Noise Marine. Alright, so let's jump to the next chapter where we'll be painting the Black Legionnaire. Let's go! Alright, so we're going to start off with the Black Legion. He has already been painted black using the primer. I'm just going to use some dark sea blue to set some mood lighting. I'm going to have him a little bit cooler. Alternatively, you can use dark reaper. So this guide actually focuses a lot on using the airbrush to cover large swaths of area. I think it's one of those very efficient ways if you want to quickly paint up your Q-team this is definitely one of the ways you want to do them. Okay, in order to have a consistent look, for me originally I set out to paint all my Space Marines in different colours so that I will mark them with their Gods of Chaos accordingly and I'm gonna have them with a bright light on the left hand side so as you can see there's an orange here. I'm going to do this for all the other space marines also so I'm going to be using some luminous orange to really block in the main key light the main key light I'm planning to have its warm orange light on the left hand side however that art direction kind of took a change after I started painting the marines in the other colors because I wanted them to have well more distinct looks and this is me just mass spraying every single space marine Next, we're gonna have some luminous flash to bump up the value over here. So this is something that I learned along the way. I really wanted to create a consistent lighting style and this is the underpainting stage. So once you finish the underpainting stage, what we can do is we can start to go back with the Black Legion. Now I'm gonna be focusing on the Black Legion. It's going over with a glaze of dark sea blue to sort of darken down everything because at the end of the day he needs to look like he's wearing black armor right and right now he's wearing anything but black armor so I'm just gonna knock down the values a little bit here knock down the temperature a little bit using dark sea blue using a glaze style airbrush just to get it slightly darker and with some french blue and luminous flash mix I'm gonna desaturate the highlights by pushing the highlights just a little bit further. One of the tips that I find was useful in painting black is that you want to go a little bit more extreme with the highlights. If you go a little bit more extreme with the highlights, you can always knock it back down which you will see me do with the brush stage later on. Okay, so this is the base painting of the black region. Okay, so now I'm going to do some shadowing. I'm going to use dark sea blue from the bottom. I'm going to make sure that the volumes are well covered. And because there are some oversprays that you have seen me do in the airbrush stage just now, 
this under spray will actually clean up a lot of the mistakes that I've made. And this will help me paint up the marine a lot nicer. And now I'm going with the deeper shadows, a little bit of black just from the bottom. As you can see right here. And there we go. That's the underpainting done. So next up, we're going to be base coating the entire model in metallics. So this is going to be for the trims and going to be for the armor panels. The underpainting, while not really black yet, you got to trust me on this because once you start painting in the trims, this will start to look a little bit more black. Okay? Do this as neatly as possible because the previous stage was done in an airbrush. There's no real way to really clean it up other than using similar colors, but you will never ever get the smoothness of the airbrush back. Okay, so I'm going to be using oily steel for the metallic parts. Same as the terrain part, you want to remember, you want to use the same tips and tricks for the terrain and paint one color at a time. So I'm going to be using matte red here just to paint up the plume on his helmet. His helmet is really, really fragile. The plume always drops off. As you can see, I'm using the older Space Marine kits. If you're watching this for the Nut Moon, the newer Space Marine kits are coming out soon and I just might do a painting video on the Smiling Space Marine. So, if you are interested in watching me paint up a smiling space marine maybe to a display standard, yeah, just drop a comment below and that will let me know whether you want to see me do that. Okay, so I'm going to be using some greys here just to block up the bindings and the straps. Note that I'm generally using pretty neutral colors because later on I'll be using a wash and the wash would tend to tint these colors down and make them look a lot more detailed. Just need to base coat them really neatly and let the wash do the work later on. Okay, so now that the base coat is done, we're going to move on to our washing stage. At this stage, as you can see, I'm using null oil. I'm just being very generous all around the model. What null oil does at this stage is it actually deepens the black areas which creates stronger shadows and it also tints everything down with a, sort of like a desaturated filter. On top of that, of course, it does its job by taking out a lot of the details. So I'm using now oil here. However, this video is definitely a little bit dated because I've not discovered enamel paints at this time. So, I mean, if you have enamel paints, you can always use enamel paints right here. Then next, because it's non oil, you can't really wipe it off, you gotta to start to highlight some of the areas. So what I'm using here is using a bit of silver and brass mixed together as the highlight color. What this does is that it really picks up little details that have already been washed down by the non oil that you really want to really highlight and re-emphasize and this is the result. Alright, now moving on to pure silver. Pure silver is going to be used as sort of like an edge highlight. This is the most striking areas and the areas that reflect the most light and hence, this is why we are using silver. Silver can also be used to highlight the metal bits on the armor. So as you can see, this black legionnaire is looking pretty sharp already, just with a couple of highlights. Okay, so this tabletop version is going to be pretty straightforward. And now we're going to be using a little bit of dark grey. This dark grey is going to be used to do the edge highlighting. Of course, if you just want some tabletop ready miniatures, I guess you can actually stop at the previous stage. However, if you want to push the models up a different level, yeah, definitely let's see how we can do that. And edge highlighting is definitely one of the key aspects that you should pay attention to because for black armor, 
you really need some of the part separation and I feel that each highlighting serves the best to achieve this. Just creating a stronger highlight here using dark blue grey. And we're just gonna pick up the little details and the edges that are leading the light source. And now, because as I mentioned before, we are gonna try to achieve a little bit of that warm key lighting. I'm gonna add in a little bit of sunny skin tone into the mix. And gonna use this to highlight the strongest bits. Okay, so now that the main armor is done, we're gonna do a little bit of plasma light. This red plasma glow is something that's gonna be really useful when painting your Chaos Legionnaires. And with the new Nut Moon box, the leader also has a plasma gun, so you definitely wanna use this stage. Starting off with Blood Red, you wanna just focus near the bottom. Don't worry if you're not too precise because we're gonna be cleaning up the areas with a brush later on. This is just a base coat and to tint the models accordingly. And then, yes, with a mix of all these colors, I'm just gonna do a wash. Notice that I'm washing down towards the bottom of the gun. I'm trying to signify that the energy is actually coming from within the gun rather than from the coils itself. As using luminous orange and a little bit of dead red, I'm gonna be washing this even more and you can see once the wash is done you can see that the wash actually flows up the little channels through capillary action and that actually forms a creative and unique looking light source so next off i'm gonna be using luminous flash just gonna be focusing down at the lowest point where the energy is coming from just to create the light source okay so here's the black legion we're going to be using many of the same materials such as the brass and silvers for the subsequent marines so now that we have covered how to paint the black legion let's go on to paint the corn berserker and his blood red armor right now so for me at this segment i'm just going to be focusing on how to paint the red armor otherwise all the other components such as the brass and the gold and the silvers all follow the black legion however i find that red is definitely one of the hardest colors to paint because if you paint red adding a little bit of white will tint the red into a pink adding a little bit of yellow might make it a little bit too orange so it's always a challenge to see how to achieve that So in this example here, I'm just adding in a little bit of pastel peach as you can see. It really really desaturates the red by too much and we definitely have to try some way to gain back the saturation. And how we're going to do this, the only way to do that is with a thinned down version of blood red which is the base coat. But remember when painting blood red, what you're going to lose is you're going to lose some of the shadow values. Some of the shadow values are going to be a little bit brighter, so that's something to take note of when painting red. I'm so looking forward to see how I can apply this to a display level when painting up the double-handed X guy. As you can see, everything is just base coated as normal from the Black Legion. And yeah, at this stage, we're just going to be washing down with Caribou Crimson. I want to make sure that we retain that red saturation for the Corn Berserker right here. Because otherwise, if you use Noun Oil, you might desaturate the model a little bit too much. Just very liberally coat it over. And then next up, we're going to be highlighting the metallics on this model. Okay, so now we're going to be doing up the brass areas. Mixing a little bit of brass and a little bit of silver. I'm just going to do some edge highlighting to gain back some of the definition that we have lost from the Caribou Crimson Wash. I'm just do this for all the metallic parts and the entire Con Berserker will be complete. 
up to a very nice tabletop standard. Wow, the red armor is really popping here, and I hope you learned something about painting red armor. Next up, we're going to be painting the Slanesh Marine. Now that the Corn Berserker has been completed, let's move on to paint the Slanesh Tainted Marine, or rather, the Noise Marine. Let's go! So, from the base coat, as you can see from the Black Legion, we're going to just use Laser Magenta to glaze over the entire model. I'm trying to create a very nice pink here, but Every single pink starts with a very saturated color. This very saturated color will be toned down later when we add the highlight scene. So just glazing the entire model down first. Next up, we will be using a little bit of intense pink for a little bit of spot highlighting here. Just want to make sure that you spray at a consistent angle to ensure that the entire model is highlighted in a consistent lighting angle rather than have it haphazardly highlighted from left and right. Alright? So this is the base colors done. We're gonna be going on some really extreme highlights. We're gonna be using some pastel peach, a little bit of luminous flash here to warm up the highlights a little bit more. can see just a little bit of strong highlights really bring up the model and next up we're going to be doing some base coating so I'm just going to be doing the trims of the armor in black you need to know how to highlight the black armors so you can always go check out the black legion chapter before This is a very rough tabletop guide, so if you want to get your models painted up in a very quick way, you just got to do these steps very fast and very quick. Alright, so now we're just going to be painting up the white tablets. We're actually using the same colors as how we painted up the straps for the Black Legion Marine. However, I'm just going to recap it here. I'm just going to start off with the graphite. Then after that, I'm just going to wash the entire model down. I wash the entire model down in noun oil. This actually helps to redefine all the boundaries because pink and black tends to be a very strong contrast. I want to make sure that these lines are as sharp as possible and this noun oil actually allows me to do so. Remember, just use the same metals to paint up the guns and the bolters and you're going to be just fine. Let's finish up the wash, finish up the highlighting as per the previous stages and you should have yourself a very nice Slanesh Marine. And there we have it, this is the Slanesh Marine with his brothers in arms. I hope you found this tabletop painting guide useful because it really will speed up your process if you follow this guide as closely as possible. Oh, you're still here! Thanks for watching all the way to the end. We have covered 3 of the possible 5 options that you can choose for your Chaos Legionnaire. Shortly, we'll have the Death Guard painting video coming up so that you can paint up one of the Legionnaires to be aligned with the God of Plagues, Nurgle. Okay, I'd like to thank you all once again for watching all the way to the end. Remember, give us a like and subscribe because it helps the channel. If you want to support the channel further, just head on to Patreon. Every single dollar allows me to produce more videos such as this. Thank you all for watching all the way to the end. I'd like to thank my patrons for allowing me to do this. And I hope to see you in the next Nut Moon painting video. See you.